Roadmaster Driver School. This is Carrie. Can I help you? Uh, yes, Carrie. How you doing? I just got finished talking to a young lady that sent me over to you guys. I'm I'm interested. Uh -huh. I'm I'm interested to find out a little bit more on how can I you know how can I uh, get into the school. Um, okay. But I'm 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 interest. I'm also interested to know if you guys still offer training to uh to handicap uh. Uh, handicap people that's interested in truck driving, and what I mean by that, do you guys still have the the trucks, the specialized truck with the lift for people that don't have mobility um, in their legs? You know, I'm not sure of that. I would have to check into that. I've not seen any here in the Columbus campus like that, but I would have to um, check into that to find out that answer for you. So yeah, that's that's fine. I'm 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 interested to know. So what um so what does so what does it entail? Okay. So first off, let me just say this call can be recorded and monitored. Um so, are you at least twenty one years of age? Yes. And do you have a valid driver's license? Yes. And would you be able to pass a drug test going back a minimum of thirty days if you had to test today? Yeah. Okay, so it is a five to six week long comprehensive training program that runs Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And um, it's actually, our campus is located here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, so okay, that's the closest campus to where you're at. So you'd have to be able to commit to that schedule for that five to six weeks, that 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. So Monday through Friday. Let me uh, let me let me ask mm -hmm. a question right quick. So you say it's it's a five day, uh, it's a mm -hmm. five day from seven in the morning to five in the evening. Number one, uh, would would we get paid during training? No, unfortunately, we don't have any paid training while you're going through our program. Okay. Um, we do offer job placement once you graduate our program if you qualify for that. Um, we do work with some of the top over the road carriers in the industry. Um, so we can, you know, help get you a job lined up, um, you know, once you graduate the program. So we do have job placement. Okay. Um, so, you know, that we can help with. So. so for people that have a quote unquote nine to five can, so y'all, y'all mm -hmm. don't have no weekend or no, no, uh, no evenings. No, unfortunately, we don't. It's all strictly Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. for that about five to six week period. So this is like a whole month. Yes, correct. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so do you guys offer any type of uh, financial assistance like Pell Grants or, you know, do, do uh, We don't offer that. I mean, we... Oh, I'm sorry. We have a uh, fine... Uh, we can help you finance a loan for our program. It is $7,495. Um, we do have um, financing options that we can help you with if you're taking our job placement. Um, because when you're working with our carrier, uh, you'll, you know, once you graduate the program and you start working with our carrier, then you'll get uh, tuition reimbursement that can go towards your loan. So oh. we can help oh. offer a financing option. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is not like a, uh... It's not like a contract. Like if I was to say if I was to be brought on by Warner or something like that and, and you know, if I am want to go through the school via Warner and I would be like sign a contract, but this, no, it ain't like that no more. It's, it's a whole loan that I myself will have to take out, right? Correct. So if you do the financing, as long the benefit to working with our carrier is that you're getting that tuition reimbursement. Um, so as long as you're working with that carrier, you're going to get that tuition reimbursement. But if you know you decide to leave the carrier, then you would have to assume that loan on your own to make those payments without that tuition reimbursement. Oh. So it is like a regular finance loan, basically. Oh, okay. So would that be a loan picked up by any bank of my choosing or any bank that will pick me up due to uh, due to my credit uh, score? Well, we have a whole finance department that handles all the loan information. So what we would do is fill out a loan application, send it through to our finance department, and then somebody from our finance department would reach out to you 
And then, um, you know, they may have their own financing that they can offer you. Um, or if you have your own financing that you want to use, you know, you may be able to discuss that with them, um, you know, and get that set up that way. But, um, you know, they do, I know, I think, ask to run your credit. And then if sometimes right. your credit's not that great, they'll either ask for a co-signer or like a down payment or something. All right. Well, let me ask you, let me ask you this about, uh, about my credit. So let's say, for example, uh, let's say, for example, I get it. I'm in, I go through the program. It comes time for me to test out and everything. And let's just say, you know, hypothetically, I'm I'm not able to test out because, you know, I probably didn't get it. Would the would the loan be null and void or would I still be responsible no. for that loan even though I didn't get my CDL? You'd be responsible for the time that you spent going through our training program. <clears throat> mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let me ask you this. If I have a class, if I have a class B and I want to transition over to a class A, is, is there a program mm -hmm. available for that? Well, this is strictly class A. Oh, strictly. Oh, <laughs> okay. Me. Our program is strictly class A. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So what about if I, mm -hmm. what, another hypothetical question, what if I already have my class A and it's restricted? And I wanted to get that restriction to uh, to be removed. Then would you guys be able to help me in that direction? I mean, you would have to go to your VMV, get a temporary permit, and then retest in a truck that's a manual. Okay, so but uh, I, you would have to have a truck that meets the DOT standards, and um, you know, you would have to have a truck and trailer. You oh, can, okay. So you I, might be able I, to wear a trailer. I'm not sure, but so I, um, the truck you would have to have. So I wouldn't be able to go through you guys to get my restriction lifted if I already have a class A restricted. Yeah. I mean, we do have outside testing like here in our Columbus branch, we do have a, a CDL testing uh, office here on site. So we do outside testing as well. Oh, so okay. We so I can test out schedule in the, outside test as well. So I can test yeah. out in the manual. Uh, well, I mean, if you go through our program, you're going to get that Class A with that restriction on there because all of our trucks are automatic. But mm -hmm. if you already have a Class A, you don't need to go through our training program and you're just wanting to switch and get that restriction taken off of your Class A C uh, CDL already, then you have to go get your temporary permit and then retest in a manual truck. All right. So that, I, the driver testing. So that would have been my next question. So you guys test out in automatics, period. I mean, I eventually will. Correct. Mm -hmm. If I come, if I come to your school and spend over seven thousand dollars, I won't have the option of testing out in a manual, even if I wanted to. Um, I mean, I would have to ask if that's an accommodation that they would be able to. If you had a manual truck, I mean, and you wanted to test in that, that would be something we would have to probably check with our, um, you know, school manager to see if that's uh, something that they would, you know, allow you to do. But I don't, I mean, most people that test here when they get through our program is they test in our automatic truck. All right. So. Um, okay. Well, that, that I, I think that's pretty much sums it up for me. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, I was still interested in finding out if you guys still had that, uh, the uh, handy, well, I'm, I'm just going to call it a handicap truck. Uh, and if you guys still, offer uh schooling for 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 those gentlemen because i i know you know a couple of people in my family there you know they you know had an accident and my uncle he's you know in a wheelchair and all like that but he's interested in driving you know trust and that's when i came across the videos and yeah that would make me uh give you guys a call today uh again uh, can you remind me how much is the how much is the five week program? You says uh, seven thousand. Yeah, seven thousand four hundred ninety five dollars. All right, seventy four hundred and some change. Well, seventy five round up. Yeah. Okay. All right. All yeah, right. Well, yeah. Well, thank you very yeah. much. And you guys are located out of uh out of Columbus, Ohio, but you you don't know where would what my uncle would need to go as far as he wanted to train 
in those special ass trucks. It, yeah, I have to check into that. I've not have ever been asked that question, so I'm going to have to, you know, follow up on that for you and find out if we do have those and are able to accommodate that. So um, I can give you a call back once I figure out that answer. What's a good number to reach at? Uh, you can you can call me. Hold on, right quick. Hold hold on, right quick. I got a I got a phone call that's coming through. Can you hold on for a second? One quick sure. second. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm sorry. That was my mom's. <laughs> uh, two one six. Two one six six seven three three zero eight one. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. that's okay. And it's Sean Johnson. Is your name? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. I will check into that for you, and I will give you a call back. Very good, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Okay, so let me do the smart pads. You know what? Roadmaster, everybody. Well, as you guys already know, I I called Roadmasters about two years ago, and I kind of asked the same question because I came across the video of the young man getting in and out of the truck, uh, this paralyzed young man getting in and out of the truck with a with a lift, you know, with a seat lift to get him in in and out of the truck, and I talked to the young man. Last time, uh, I believe this was like in Florida. So I'm not even sure if they, well, he told me at that time that they don't even have that specialized truck anymore. But with this video right here, you know, being that this young man has been paralyzed and going into a newer, more bluer Roadmaster truck. So that what made me initiated this call this year to get a little bit more information for you guys to see if they still offer that program for, you know, you guys that don't have mobility in your legs or if you're paralyzed for any reason. I have came across a lot of inspirational videos of truck drivers that don't have their limbs that don't have hands, that don't have arms, that's still driving trucks out here. I mean, it's crazy. It's like, if they can do it, you can do it too. You know, and it's inspiring, inspirational. I talked to a lot of drivers that had, you know, that had lost limbs and still out here trucking and 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 enjoying it. So I was just kind of curious to know in 2023 if Roadmasters are still offering, you know, programs for handicapped drivers, you know, the drivers that are handicapped, and are they still offering programs? As you guys heard, uh, the Columbus, which is close to me, you know, unfortunately don't offer that, but she did go into a little bit more detail on how much uh, the schooling costs and the sacrifice that you have to make to go through the school. Now, you got to sacrifice a month. If if you're already working or something like that, you, you probably might have to take PTO. You probably might have to take some vacation. You probably might have to take some additional time. But you're going to have to sacrifice a month 
and give them give them about four to five or five to six weeks of Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5 p.m. every day, every day. Uh, unfortunately, you don't get paid during the time you're going to school. So save up your money. Save up your money. See, this is something that a lot of people don't talk about, you know, when they be like, it's trucker's life, baby, and they want you to get into this industry. Well, they don't know that the hoops and hurdles that you got to jump into to get into this industry. And one of those hoops and hurdles is giving up at least a month to give to them to get your CDL. Now, during that time, you're not going to get paid by going to school. So you're going to have to figure out some way of getting yourself compensated. You got to go all the way out to Columbus, depending on where you live at. You got to come here to Columbus. If you're from Cleveland, you could probably drive back and forth to Columbus. It's three hours. But you also got to figure out your living expenses because they're not going to pay for that. They're not going to pay for that. You, so you got to figure out your living expenses. You're going you're gonna to come out of the pocket for the hotel for the month. You're going to come out of the pocket for your food for the month. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot to consider when you're going through Roadmasters for your CDLs. So think about that before you choose any of these truck driving schools to go through. Is is it gonna be is, is it gonna be the one for you? You know, is Roadmasters gonna be the one for you? Because when you go through Roadmaster, you gotta pull out a loan. They're gonna check your credit report. So if you have a bad, if you have a bad credit score, they're gonna require you to get somebody that you might wanna know and co-sign for you, or you're gonna have to come with additional money to put down. $7,500. And think of it this way. You still have to pay that $7,500 even if you get kicked out or if you don't even pass the test. Find out how many times you can take the test before they say, oh, okay, well, we're done with you. Is it three times? Is it two times? Is it one and out, one and done? Find out all that. When you choosing these truck driving schools to go to, I mean, to go to. All right. Well, that's it. She says she's going to get back with me. So I'll get back with you guys at a later date. Probably I'll put it in the uh, community post to let you guys know about uh, whether if they still have the program for paraplegic or handicap uh, dry, uh, people that's interested in truck driving. So I'll keep you guys posted. Until next time, everybody. <laughs>